Next, let's draw in a series of rocks and our meerkats. Meerkats love to sun themselves on rocks. They have lots of colonies and they're uh, cute and fuzzy. Great addition to your child's mural. So let's start some rocks down low here. And I'm not really thinking much about this at all. Rocks are something you don't have to think a whole lot about as you draw them. I have one central one there. Let's have another one kind of come up over in here. Still another one's going to kind of come up over here. You can see I'm just kind of going wild on like this rocky area. This is all we need is like a nice little series of rocks, which I now have in here. So let's move on to drawing our meerkats. Meerkats usually like to stand up on rocks, and they're kind of like this. Perhaps if you've actually seen some of those nature shows, making little jerky movements and being all cute and fuzzy. So we're basically going to start drawing our meerkats, and I'm going to draw three of them. You can always have more in yours. And they're going to be standing up here looking around. Their little noses. And they have very flat heads. That's something actually which is, makes them a little bit different than a lot of others. And they also have little round ears too. Almost like a little human-like here. They come down and they have big straight bodies. And oftentimes, sometimes they're sitting a little bit on their legs to have little claws here. And little claws come down. And oftentimes their hands kind of come in and taper. But they also have some fuzz. You know, they, these are furry animals, so make sure not to neglect the fact that they have fuzz. Also coming down in here. And in some ways, the meerkats, because they're thin and lean, and they have a decent amount of detail, are going to be some of the more difficult subjects we're going to paint here today. But I've drawn in one, and I'm going to flank this little guy with uh, probably two more of his friends on the other side of the rocks. Again, you can have more in here, uh, but for our purposes, we're going to leave it at three meerkats for our mural. So this is another painting, actually, I did of meerkats uh, several years ago. And you can just see for the purpose of our mural, some of the characteristics of meerkats. You know, they kind of clump together. There's almost always more than one. You can see how they stand erect in certain areas, and they have, like, their, their arms dangling down. You can also see, um, even in this more complicated uh, painting, that there's only a couple colors that you're using. You know, some brown, some white, a little bit of gray, and that's essentially it. So, I mean, they're cute, they're fuzzy, and they can also be very simple, which makes them excellent candidates for being members of our childhood mural.